The second feature demonstrated in this example is that of a satellite communication limitation. In this example, you see that the coalition side has a SATCOM limitation to a 4, meaning that given SATCOM capabilities, it's possible to support a maximum of four airborne UAV flights. You see here that we have two flights already airborne, and that means that two additional flights can become airborne, given the limitation. If we advance the scenario, as subsequent UAV flights take off, you can see that we reach a maximum four of four, and at this point, no subsequent UAV flights can take off until others have landed. It's also possible for a scenario to have a SATCOM variation. A SATCOM variation can be positive or negative. A positive SATCOM variation means that we gain more SATCOM variation during the scenario, whereas a negative SATCOM variation means that we lose SATCOM capability during the scenario. In general, you don't know if a SATCOM variation occurs in a scenario, but in this case, this example has a SATCOM variation of minus two. If we advance the scenario to the point of the SATCOM variation, we see that we have two excess flights as a result of losing capability of two. At that point, two of the airborne UAV flights are selected at random and compelled to be out of communication and they automatically return to base. The other UAV flights that are airborne that are not affected by out of com continue to operate normally. Once those out of com UAV flights return to base, then we're under our limitation once more, and at that point, if other UAV flights land voluntarily, then others are eligible to take off.